everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here for another video on my channel. This weekend we are at the Rocky Mountain Star Stair in the hills just north of Gardner, Colorado. This is a star party that's been happening for over 30 years and huge thanks to the Colorado Springs Astronomical Society for hosting this party for so long and making it such a desired venue out here in the western United States. Now this venue is absolutely gorgeous. It's a huge, huge field of just wide open space that you can set up your telescopes and your equipment and during the star party hundreds of people collect here with their telescopes imaging gear and you have everybody doing every walk of life of astronomy here under these night skies now these night skies are some of the darkest in the west we are Bortle one here at this facility so it is super super dark and your closest town is almost 45 minutes away for food gas and water so you are really kind of out in the middle of nowhere out here and that is perfect for stargazing abilities now on this trip I did pack light I do not have my big imaging gear with me as I could only fit so much in the car with the tent, all the camping gear, and just the few telescope pieces that I did bring with me. However, we are going to do a lot of visual astronomy on this trip. Imaging wise, I did bring some stuff. We're going to be doing a lot of Milky Way stuff. I'm going to try different lenses uh, for different shots of the Milky Way. I kind of want to do the Dark Horse Nebula. That's the dark dust lanes running through the Milky Way. So there's going to be stuff that I am still going to be doing, of course, just in a different way than what I normally do with deep sky astrophotography. And oh yeah, I did bring the sea star, so we're going to be doing at least a little bit with him. So that'll be a little bit of fun to see how the sea star does under such dark sky. Now let's just wait for the sun to get down. We're going to go have a bite to eat at the food truck they have here, and I'll see you when the sun goes down and the stars come out. Now I'm out here tonight with my DSLR camera and we are using just stock equipment here. We've got just a regular Canon 6D Mark II. This is a off the shelf camera. It's not astro modified or anything like that. And we have the Rokinon 35 millimeter F2 lens on here as well. That again is just a budget friendly lens for general photography. It is a manual adjustment only. It is not an autofocus. So you do have to do everything manually for astrophotography. Now tonight we are attempting a photo of 
the Dark Horse Nebula. This is the area that goes from the Rho Ufuki region and extends out through to the center of the Milky Way. So we are going to frame up this whole thing here with the DSLR on the Sky Tracker, and we're going to take our first couple shots and see what adjustments we need to do to the framing, and then also start capturing about two hours worth of data before Scorpia starts dipping into the trees. So here are my settings that we're going to be using for this specific photo. We've got it on bulb mode, which is a mode that if you're unfamiliar with, you can attach an external remote to it and control everything via an external remote. So longer than 30 seconds than the stock camera allows, you can expand the functionality by getting a remote that will allow you to take however many long exposures and sort of automate the whole process for you. We're going to have it on ISO 1250. It's going to be a little bit low in terms of the ISO, but we want it to be a little bit lower so that we don't introduce a lot of noise into the image. And then here is my little remote here you can see we're taking one minute exposures the reason why it's one minute and two is because the camera has a two second timer relay in it so each exposure will actually be uh, one full minute but we're going to take 150 of these so that's two and a half hours and off we go Next, we're going to go to the Snake Nebula for tonight. We're going to take a couple pictures of that, get that dark nebula, and then maybe head over to something like the Trifid to end out the night just with the Sea Star, since the Sea Star is starting to get a little bit low on the battery, and it is getting a little bit late here in the morning that we need to get some sleep to do it all again tomorrow night. <laughs> 